RT people. Now, don't get too excited by the title of this video. I will be sharing some of my wedding DIYs with you, but I actually got married almost five years ago. So for some of you, this will be old news. But as I wasn't making videos back then, I wanted to make one now about my wedding. As both a creative person and a thrifty person, there were elements of my wedding that I DIY'd to put my personal stamp on it and to save a bit of money. Let's start with the flowers. I've never been that bothered by flowers, so I knew that this was an aspect of my wedding that I wanted to DIY. I bought just under £50 worth of flowers from my local supermarket the day before the wedding and used them to make my bouquet, table centrepieces and the buttonholes. I'd YouTubed how to make a bouquet and did a practice run a few months before the wedding. I was happy with how it turned out, but I totally understand why florists charge what they do. For the tables, I did smaller arrangements in jam jars which were then put into gold pots. Some of these we already had in the house and others we got from Ikea. These doubled up as the table numbers as I made some gold numbers on my Cricut on sticks that went in the pots. Notice I didn't mention making bouquets for my bridesmaids. For my best friends, I wanted something more unique, so I had them carry tambourines. This was such a fun decision. I found some cheap wooden tambourines on eBay and adorned them with ribbons matching the colour scheme. I also used my wood burning tool to engrave their names on the inside of the tambourine. They played them as they walked down the aisle with me and I think they look really cool in the photos and it's something special for them to keep. weddings where between the ceremony and the reception when you're waiting for all the photos to be taken you get a little bit bored. I didn't want this to happen to my guests so we provided some tabletop games for them to play. We put out Scattergrees, Bananagrams and Dobble from our personal collection of games. We had a giant word search on one of the tables which is like a big tablecloth that you can wipe clean and use again. We bought a mini 2p machine because me and my husband are big fans of seaside arcades. Then I also DIY'd a game of Guess Who which I called Guess who? I bought an old game from a charity shop for about £1.50 and then chose 24 of our nearest and dearest to feature in the game. I scoured Facebook for photos and edited them in Photoshop to make them into the cards. I really love how this turned out and my guests loved it too. I'm looking forward to when my son is old enough to play and he'll be seeing people like his grandparents in the game.
have a unique guest book and I was inspired by those primary school tea towels you used to get with everyone's drawings on. We provided little squares of paper and invited our guests to draw themselves. They then pinned them on a notice board which was displayed throughout the night. After the wedding, I scanned all the drawings and edited them together into one image. I chose to get them printed onto a tote bag rather than a tea towel and I still use it today almost five years later. I found someone on Etsy to print it for me as most companies required a minimum of like 10 to be made and I just wanted one. The wedding cake was also DIY'd, but not by me. My mum made the cake, but I made the cake topper. I used my Cricut to cut out the phrase, you're my favourite, onto two pieces of card, which I then stuck together with a stick in between. I then sprayed this gold to match our colours. After the wedding, I removed the stick and put the topper in a frame, backed with some coloured paper to match our decor. So it's something that we display in our house to remind us of our wedding day. My mum also made some little jars of strawberry jam, which were the favours for our wedding, as our wedding meal was afternoon tea. These doubled up as the name cards, as I made a little name tag to go around each jar with the person's name on it, decorated with some washi tape. I also made all of our wedding cards into a book, but I already made a whole video about this if you're interested. Let me know what you think of all of my DIYs. Have you seen something really unique at a wedding that you've been to? Thanks for watching, bye!